All right, and welcome everyone to Hollywood Action Tuesdays number 78 here at the iconic Chinese Theater in Hollywood, California. A beautiful venue for an equally iconic tournament. To start this off, we have Fiction, the Sonic player, against JD, the Inkling. This is the first time these two have ever faced in bracket, so we'll have to see how that goes. Fiction going to rack up, rack up the first 67, 72% with a few basic Sonic combos, nothing too interesting. Just a homing attack and almost a zero to death. We did see the Sparks come out. Going to have to be careful with that recovery. Goes way, way too overzealous and goes right to the stage. That will cost him his first stock. JD yet to register a percent. Now he has a couple of homing attacks from Sonic, but Fiction looking clean right now. And even with, you know, only less than a minute in, but this game's already looking over. Gets the berry on the roller, so that's a good start for JD. Needs to capitalize perhaps with an up throw. That F smash, not the right play. And now Fiction just gonna dash attack in and continue to hold stage control. He's getting a couple berries, is JD, but unable to really get an aerial on top of it or even just a tilt or smash attack to follow up. Just going to send that splat bomb entirely in the wrong direction. Gets the grab in the back throw. And once again, another homing attack. Went for the back air off stage. That would have been two very early kills. Gets buried for the third time this game. So he does have those rollers on point. That's something that Fiction might have to be aware of. Look, looking pretty inked. More blue than usual is Sonic. But the fair off stage from Fiction. He's on a tear at the moment. And we could see a three stock here before it's all over. Gets around the splat bomb with the dash attack. And this approach, these approaches from Fiction have been absolutely phenomenal. When he's not getting caught with a roller, he's been able to get out of disadvantage so, so quickly. Although that time he will up be straight into a splat bomb. Gets around it the second time. Dash attack comes in from JD. And now if I'm JD, I want to see a bit more dash dancing. If you are going to play this grounded, like JD is at the moment, probably do so in a way where you're going to avoid some of Sonic's hitboxes, perhaps these homing attacks. You don't know where they're going. That F smash will connect with its target. JD does take a stock. How much more damage can he do? The answer, 0% as he just runs straight into the up smash from the normal getup. That was an absolute one-sided showcase from Fiction. Perhaps the stage might have been a bit of an issue. As an Inkling main, you might want to go to a stage like Battlefield, like Yggdrasil. Perhaps a stage with more platforms, where you can just trap a guy like Sonic, who will want to go up with the homing attacks and go vertically, vertically approaching rather than just weaving in and out around the dash attacks and splat bombs. And I believe that's what we're seeing right here from JD. The counter pick is going to be Battlefield. So that's perhaps the right decision. And that's going to be what he needs to do if he wants to turn this around. Fiction looking to get off the same hot start he did in game one. That will be a good one. Gets around, well he doesn't get around the Inklings up B, but makes it back anyway. Now JD gets the dash attack or gets the rapid jab on top of the platform. That will ink Sonic for a little bit. Charged up the spin a bit long, but doesn't get punished for it. Misses two down smashes. Good shield. Now JD, I'm not quite sure what he was doing charging the up smash though. You cannot do that against Sonic unless you unless he clanks with your shield. And Fiction knows this. He's going in and out, getting some of these grabs, getting these low, low risk attacks, but he went too low there. And the air dodge will not be able to take him directionally back to the ledge. Fiction already down a stock. And now JD, this is where he wants to start playing a bit more defensively. Gets him in the rapid jab. That will be inking him for the rest of the stock. No matter, even these trades will be advantageous. These will get additional percent. That's only gonna climb higher and higher. Fiction. In and out. We're seeing the homing attack a lot more, actually. We saw it near the platforms on Kalos, but we're seeing it everywhere on Battlefield because the entire stage is pretty much platforms. Rapid jab from Sonic this time. Fiction. 
still yet to take the first stock, almost a minute, more than a minute and a half in. That can often be some of Sonic's troubles. You can weave in and out of the neutral. You can be so, so quick, but unless some of these fairs or these hard callouts land, that might be your downfall. Goes around the splat bomb with a spin attack, and that will close it out. The first off, finally, almost two minutes in, only took 46%, so did a good job of avoiding some of these splat bombs and other stray hits from Inkling, but JD unable to rack up too much of a stock lead, or a, of a percent lead after the first off. Nair won't connect from JD, neither will the back air, but the up throw does not get the booyah. Although it gets him once more in the rapid jab, that will put Sonic a different shade of blue. The Cyan Sonic that Sega was unwilling to give us. Gets him once more and into another one of the Inkling's traps. Good up smash, calls out the roll, but too early on the second time. So the down smash, I like the decision from Fiction, I believe this is probably the right time to start going for a few more unsafe options. These will catch out JD if he plays the way he did, just a bit more recklessly. And another spinning homing attack on or near the ledge will close it out for Fiction. Now this is where Fiction wants to start being perhaps not campy, but a bit more defensive, a bit more conservative. Good parry from JD and the up smash right afterwards will close it out only 7% down. Once again, we see, and I like the decision from JD going for the rapid jab early in the stock. That's something you don't see from a lot of Inkling players. Or from some, oh no, Fiction. This time he's gone too low. We saw an SD on Kalos in game one, and we're going to see another one in game two to close it out. JD all of a sudden after a really lackluster game one has brought this all the way back to a game three. And now we're going to see FD, the third different stage in game three. Once again, these platforms or the lack of platforms on FD will probably be advantageous for Sonic. These aren't, there's no vertical mix-ups as far as the spot bombs go. All of the spot bombs are going to be in the same horizontal plane, so you know what you have to avoid. Perhaps no platforms to extend your own combos off of, but... That's a trade I'm willing to take if I'm a Sonic player, as is Fiction. Now this is looking like the start of game one again. JD not willing to let this go easy. Goes the up throw, does not get the up air follow up. Get some once more in the rapid jab though. We're seeing a different inkling color. We're gonna see the lime green. Perhaps not a Sonic color we're seeing used to as this blue and green paint all over him. Dash attack from Fiction brings JD up to 89%, but caught in the berry, that F smash will almost bring the percents even. JD looking precariously low on ink here, might have to go for perhaps for going an edge guard, for going a ledge trap, and just getting some of this ink back when he can. That some of the up throw does not get the booyah to finish it off. Sonic was not quite in the percent window. Only about 15% more will do it. He's out of ink now. Just charges a little bit back, and that was the opportunity. That was the opening that Fiction needed. Approaches with the fair, and another homing attack. Although he just jumps straight into the splat bomb, not the option that Fiction was looking for. Parries that, but doesn't get anything off of it. And that will allow Fiction to just do it again. JD looking for the kill, but with Inkling, if you don't get a berry, if you don't have any ink to throw out splat bombs or just ledge trap in general, that's so, so difficult. Gets a bit of ink, has running on a third of a tank, and finally gets the berry into the F smash. That was something he's been looking for all of the first and second game. Finally managed to kill with it the third time. And now another FD, SD from Fiction on SD, on FD, rather, excuse me. Now this is a whole stock and then some to make up. <laughs> and we 
haven't seen Fiction playing from this much of a deficit. We saw minor percent disadvantages, but already a whole stock down. And although both characters were momentarily at 12%, that's still a lot of time to do so much. He can make this. Gets around the F-Smash. Good roll, just misplaces the fair, or the forward smash, rather. JD attempting to catch these landings, but unable to do so. It's the first couple hits of fair. Avoids the spring. Up smash will take him almost out of ink, and that recharge provided the window necessary for Fiction to just dance right back in. The back throw will take him almost back to ledge. JD looking to conserve this lead at all costs. We're going to see a forward throw from Fiction was not facing the right way to potentially get a back throw. And the stage spike off of the spring. All of a sudden, this is a lot more doable from Fiction. JD looking to show he's not phased. Already has 8%, but no ink on Sonic. That will make it a bit difficult to keep finding these percents. Meanwhile, Fiction has already made up the percent deficit almost. JD brings it back a little bit, but he has to be so, so careful with this ink usage. The end hitbox from the uppy. That is damage, but gets him in the berry one more time. And the up smash! At such a low percent, he's been getting these callouts and these reads, and finally gets the berry all day. He may be fiction, but that comeback and that third game from JD was all fact. I've never seen such a turnaround from, you know, such an, such an underperformance in game one, but 